Welcome back class. In this video, we're going to look at some past student examples of one point perspective. And we're also going to be looking at different layout options for this assignment uh, so that you have multiple avenues to choose from for your idea, depending on what that is. So the first thing we're going to do is look at or just refresh our memory as to what we did last class. The first option is to do a cityscape. So if you like the cityscape that you did yesterday and you want to draw a city scene, you can definitely do that. I'm going to turn my guidelines on here. Just make sure you, of course, have your vanishing point in the center here. You would start with your, your horizon line down the middle of your paper. Start with your road. And then once you have that layout, you just repeat the same three steps over and over again. You'll first start with a flat side of a building. Then you'll angle your corners to the vanishing point. And then lastly, you'll drop it down. So as long as you always start with the flat side of your building, I'll do one more here. Flat side, angle it to the vanishing point, drop it down. You keep repeating the steps, you'll fill the whole paper, and that essentially is the project. Just a reminder that all the details on the angled side of the building, such as these windows right here, which I'm going to click on, they angle towards the vanishing point as well. So just make sure that you are also angling the details towards the vanishing point and not just the buildings themselves. So that's the first option. Uh, and if you would rather something else, we are going to look at some other options for you to choose from, as I just erased my marks here. So if you don't want to do a cityscape, you also have the option of doing an exterior space. So when I say exterior space, I mean, oops. I'm referring to basically one single building or uh, less buildings in a city. So this artist, this student decided to do a more rural area of doing a farmland and a barn with a, a silo. You can do that and that's fine. But the key, the key thing to remember is you've, if you choose to do a single building or, or two, you want to make sure you still have enough details throughout your artwork that represent an understanding of the objectives beyond just one building with one door and one window. I'm going to set my guidelines here to match this project. I'm going to lock that. So this student first started with a horizon line down the back of the artwork. If I can even get that going. So we have our horizon line, then the vanishing point. You can see that their road goes towards the vanishing point. So this is the same start as the other project, but also note that the vanishing point is off to the right. In the last class, we put our vanishing point right in the middle with the, the city road coming straight out. You can shift the vanishing point left to right on the horizon line as long as it's on the horizon line. That's completely fine. Just do whatever works best for your design. But note that this artist added details in the windows. They all angle to the vanishing point. The different sections of the building go right to the vanishing point. Everything is going directly to the point, right down to the fence, right down to the, the farmland with the tilling of the soil, right down to the doors themselves, even the, the stable and the inside. All of these lines and angles go right towards the vanishing point. So again, if you do a single building, please make sure that you have enough details to show the understanding. So hopefully this is already starting to get your, uh, your gears rolling. You're already thinking of some ideas. Now the third option is to, an in, is to select an interior space to do a room in your house, whether it's a bedroom, a living room, a kitchen. All of these options would work and be fine, uh, but the question is how do you do that? So I'm gonna demonstrate that here briefly. In this image, what makes this more difficult to understand from the others is that there is no road, there is no obvious vanishing point. And really the vanishing point is not necessarily supposed to be obvious. It's really not supposed to be seen, but it does exist in this picture and I'm gonna show you where. So if I set my guidelines for here, the vanishing point I think is somewhere right here. I'm not exactly sure, but I'm gonna guess here, I'm gonna lock it. So if I were to draw the angles of the door, that looks like it works, it goes right to the vanishing point. So note that the angles of the door, all of these things, oops, <clears throat> all of these things are going towards the vanishing point. So just like the, the barn that we just looked at, the kind of country landscape, 
if you're going to do an interior space of a room, you want to make sure you have enough details that where all the lines go towards the vanishing point and you're really showing a strong understanding. So the horizon line and vanishing point are here. Sorry, my lights just uh, went out on me in my classroom here. But uh, the vanishing point is here and the horizon lines there was just erased when it was all done. So we talked about the importance of drawing everything lightly. So that is the importance because here you can't even see it. It looks like it was never there, uh, but it is there to create the guidelines and angles necessary. The most important thing to note, let me bring my color editor back up here, if I can even find it. There we go. I changed my color to blue. In order to start, what you would want to do is create a back wall. So somewhere on your paper, create a back wall. Draw it lightly in case you draw anything over top of it. And you're going to draw the corners going towards your vanishing point here. So you don't need to actually draw the line. Just make sure ruler is lined up. Draw the framework of your room. Oops. So this way you'll have a ceiling, the floor, the back wall. So I'm going to put an F for the floor. You have the back wall. You have C for the ceiling. Then you have side wall one, side wall two. So you're basically first want to create that space and then build everything over top, whether you have doors, windows, you have a light fixture, lamps, tables, a bed, whatever it is. Uh, just create this, this space of the room first and then add all the details around it. So that's how you would do an interior room. And please feel free to rewatch this example or to even look at examples online if you wish. But again, you can do a cityscape, you can do an interior room, or even an exterior single building, and that will be completely fine. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide this video here, and I'm just going to bring this up real quick. In this project, even though we focus a lot on the technical aspect of linear perspective and using your ruler and making sure all your lines converge to the vanishing point, the idea is to be creative and have fun. And I'm going to demonstrate some examples of some students who got 95s or 100% in their projects. They were creative and had fun. Uh, so this student over here, oops, this student here uh, did a, uh, a fantasy theme. This student loved a fantasy and magic and, and elves, and they did this kind of elf village where everything follows the rules of linear perspective, but it was their own original idea. Over here to the right, you have a student who did a boardwalk pier where everything goes back to the vanishing point back here. And they just wanted to make it like, a, you know, they're at the beach and, you know, walking around. And this is the scene they would see, because I guess that student really likes going to the beach. Who doesn't? I wish I was there right now, instead of my dark room. Uh, here on the right, you have um, this student did an anime character. I don't know the name of the anime, but the, um, the anime takes place in the Wild West. So here, the buildings are not just typical buildings you see every day. This takes place in a certain time, in a certain location. Um, to match the theme of this anime show. So this student uh, basically put their interest of that show into the project. So if there's something like that that you would like to do, that's great, that's fine. Here's a really neat one where the student actually has their vanishing point back here somewhere, and they have this atomic bomb coming down, and you can see it's tearing through the city here. But again, it follows one-point perspective. So it, as long as you are adding depth with one-point with one point perspective, you can add anything you want. You can be as creative, as innovative as you want. Um, even down here, I'm going to zoom in a bit. This student didn't get a chance to finish, but they have this building with vines and things coming all through. You can even see this building is broken down. And not just the shape of the building, not only does the shape of the building go towards the vanishing point over here, but even the lines of the bricks, these tiny lines of the bricks, there was a lot of intricate detail that this student really focused on. Um, so that was a really neat, neat image, although never really got a chance to be finished. I believe the student had to move. Um, and that's it for my examples here. Um, and that really concludes the video. So please feel free to rewatch this video or rewind and pause any section of it. But I do hope that this video shed some light on the three different options that you can choose from. And also that the examples, past student examples, helped you um, brainstorm an idea that you might have. So if you're into sports, you're into a certain television show or a certain theme, uh, even a certain time period, you can add anything you want into this project. I, I don't care if you have UFOs sucking up cows and little stick figure people and their tractor beams. As long as the images are appropriate for school, 
you can absolutely add anything to it. Again, just as long as everything follows the rules of one point perspective and that you're using a ruler throughout. Uh, please message me if you have any questions and you guys are now gonna take your final smooth white paper I gave you and start your final project. Please start with your horizon line and vanishing point. And then from then on, it's, it's all you. Be creative, have fun, just follow the rules, make the project yours, make it original. I really look forward to seeing your projects today and please message me if you have any questions at all. All right, guys, look forward to seeing your work. Have a great class.